Hi, I'm Doug Tarter with Berkshire Hathaway. I sell real estate down in the south end of Utah County. Uh, I have a sales background, a marketing background. Uh, been doing this for a little bit now. Uh, one of my passions is fly fishing. So if you're looking for a house, give me a call. Uh, let's find you a house and then let's go fish. You know, I got into real estate uh, because I love real estate. I've always looked at it. I've always thought about it. Um, <clears throat> it's fascinating to me, the architecture, uh, the outdoors, um, especially the, the property side of things. Uh, so, you know, coming from outside of real estate, um, I really felt like that, you know, I, I've been able to make companies uh, quite a bit of money as the marketing director for the company. So I figured if I can do that, I can help people buy and sell their homes, market their homes, and, and really succeed in the real estate market. Probably the most that you'd get is patience, uh, determined, um, and I, I think those two are, are the probably the two that you know would be used the most. Uh, thinking about just one client in particular, you know, to be able to help them sell their house, he decides to get his knee replaced in the middle of COVID. So to be able to get paper signed while he's in the rest home recovering and isolated, you know, is probably the best determined sales job that I've ever done is trying to get that paperwork signed. You know, South Utah County is just kind of that hidden gem uh, that really people don't know about. I, uh, I've got a friend of mine that always says that, you know, people leave Salt Lake and they hit the point of the mountain, close their eyes and they don't open them again until they hit Nephi because they just don't understand what's here. You know, South County, you have some absolutely beautiful homes, uh, luxury homes up in Woodland Hills and Elk Ridge. You've got golf courses. Uh, if you really prefer, uh, you can go out uh, on the west side of the freeway and you get out to more of the, your farmland, five acres. So you really have it all uh, down there. And people are starting to figure that out because that's where all the growth's going. You know, I, I've lived down there 20 years. Um, and so over the 20 years, you see there's been a lot of change. Uh, and a lot of it's impacted me and my family. The first is the fact that, you know, <clears throat> there used to be one high school down there. Now there's two. Um, so my kids uh, started at Payson and then ended up switching over to Salem Hills. Um, so you have your two high schools. You have, there's more shopping there. Uh, in Salem's got a new grocery store. Uh, brand new Macy's just opened in Santa Quinn. Uh, and then as you look at the projections, they've got a new exit that they're planning there in Payson where UVU's coming in and going to have a, a campus there. Uh, you've got a new ca uh, campus that MTech is going to bring in into the area. There's just a lot of positive things happening there in South County. Well, when it comes to real estate, one of the, the, the big things that you start looking at is especially in the market we're in today. The market today is so fast and so aggressive that you have to have somebody that, that works for you full time. Because if you've got somebody that's part time and a house comes on the market, you've got to go now. You've got to see it now, put the offer in now. If you're going to compete in the market, you have to do that. So having a full time person and an agent is is really important. And, and that's I bring that uh, to the table. I, I always tell my wife that I can sleep at uh, some time else. So let's get it done now. Um, but uh, I bring that, I bring a, a full hardcore sales background to it. Uh, I'm not quite that used car salesman, but I, I know how to get things done. I know how to negotiate. And then the, the other thing that, I re that really separates me from everything else is I've got a marketing background. I've got real world marketing experience. And so I know how to uh, write things up, I know how to get things done, how to advertise them and where. You need a local specialist. Uh, and when you get down to, especially down in South County, you know, <clears throat> I had a big luxury house in Woodland Hills. That, let's use, use a real example. 
as, as agents would come in and show the house, I would ask them if they were familiar with Woodland Hills. Uh, everybody always told me yes, and so I'd start asking questions. And like Woodland Hills is all on septic systems. And so is your realtor, do they know that? Are they familiar with septic systems? Do they know how often they need to be flushed? Uh, as you go a little bit further west, out into the, the farm fields, if you will, you, you start dealing with water rights, wells. There's places that have artesian springs in them, which are awesome. Uh, but <laughs> you've got to know all that stuff. And then, especially in today's uh, environment with the growth and the high growth, you've got to know where that growth is going. Because if you don't, if somebody doesn't know where the growth is going, they can't help you get into the right position to really maximize the profitability of your house, the, the value of your house as it goes up. Uh, one, of the, one of the best stories that, that, I, that I tell is, I, I think I'm the only realtor that's ever come face to face with a cougar, and, and not an older lady. I mean, a, a, a actual cougar. Um, I, I was helping a, a gentleman uh, that was. We were looking at a house that he was going to flip. Uh, the house <coughs> was a hoarder's house. It was nasty inside. So as we're walking around, you can see there was literally dropping mouse droppings and cat and dog and every, I mean just all kinds of nasties in the house uh, it was dark so I, I told him I said well I'm gonna go check out the garage so I go out into the garage I got my flashlight I'm I'm down scanning the ground and uh, look because I'm worried about mice and <clears throat> as we get about halfway into that the hair in my neck just stands up and I was like oh man so, and so I'm running through my head whether you know is it a raccoon is it a possum what is it and as I bring my flashlight up about four feet from me, eye to eye, I hit the face of a cougar. And it scared me to death. Um, you know, as, as I backed up and actually started to, to see it, it was actually a taxidermy cougar that the guy had put on a, on a shelf, but it was eye to eye, nose to nose. And I'll tell you what, it makes you, it makes you think twice and it stepped quick. <laughs> I would tell you that to do what you would normally do. Uh, in today's market, it is fast, it is aggressive, but you need to do what's right for you. If you if your kids are all gone and you've got to downsize, then let's do it. It, it can be done, but it's got to be done by somebody aggressive, somebody that'll work hard for you and somebody that's fast. So I, do what you're going to do. The market's not going to change. The, you know, we get that question all the time about, well, is this the same bubble that we had in 08? It's not. This is a supply and demand thing that we've got a lot of demand and no supply. So we can still make it happen, but it, it needs to do what you do. To do your due diligence ahead of time in the fact that you really zone in and zoom in on where you want to be, where, what location, what, what are the things that are really set you, and what are the things that you want? You know, the location, you know, what kind of a kitchen, living arrangements, master bedroom, or on the main level. I mean, what are the, the things that really trigger you? Because it, it, to sit and just kind of wander and look and, and have a realtor take you and be a tour guide for you, just really isn't going to help you because by the time you figure out that, well, remember the one we saw four or five days ago, let's, let's talk about putting an offer in on that one. It's going to be gone. And so the more you can kind of figure out what you want, where you want to be, views, mountains, school system, you know, whatever, uh, <clears throat> new, old, the more you can figure out, the better you're going to be able to. You know, COVID is, has impacted in the fact that it, it's made everybody a little bit more cautious. Uh, doing an open house, you, you've got your hand sanitizer, everybody's mask. Um, it it's, makes it, from a real estate standpoint, makes it a little harder to uh, read people's uh, interests and their facial expressions and things to see if they really like it or not. Um, but it, it's just made everybody be a little bit more cautious. Uh, it hasn't stopped the market. 
and it hasn't stopped people showing and selling houses and buying houses, but it just made everybody a little more cautious.